So you finally bagged yourself the big buck, got it home, processed the meat out. Now we're going to show you what to do with the rest. Thanks for joining us. So this time around we're going to show you what to do with a bone-in roast. This is the bone-in neck roast from that Buckeye shot. As always when working with venison, you're going to want to start by getting rid of all the silver skin and fat because no one's going to want to eat that. So just grab it, pull, cut, whatever you got to do man. Little knife, big knife, the sharper your knife is the easier this is going to be. But you really want to get in there and get it all. Now that we have most of the larger sections of silver skin and fat off, you're going to go through and every couple inches make a cross section stab with your little pointy knife. You're stabbing one direction then the other as deep as you can until you hit the bone. There's a lot of bone here. It's almost like deer have giant vertebrae. Eh? Now you're going to go back through and take some of the roasting herbs and push them into those holes. Just use your finger, use the knife, whatever. Just literally digging them right into those holes. If you can't find all the holes, you know, don't be afraid to make a few more. Make sure you get both sides. But if you fill the holes you made with the roasting herbs and then go back through and push the garlic puree in, Makes it a little easier than trying to fill the holes with the garlic puree. You know, just push it in any folds, whatever. Now that we're done with our roasting herbs and our garlic puree, we're gonna go ahead and coat this whole thing in kosher salt and garlic powder. Really wanna make sure you get all the sides. Up underneath, the ends and right there on top now we're going to take our oil over to our cast iron skillet get it up to its smoke point put a good sear on this piece of meat before we roast it once our oil's just started to smoke we're going to go ahead and move that neck roast over to the pan to get a great sear on it. You just really want to make sure every side of this roast touches the bottom of the pan for about a minute. Let's see here we got some of that nice golden brown sear in here. It's sealing in that garlic puree. The underside of the neck roast is the hardest part to get the sear on. You gotta kind of balance it. But that's okay. One more minute. Alright, seared on all sides. Now we can turn off the heat. Move that piece of meat over into the slow cooker. You're going to want to go ahead and turn your slow cooker to high and then put those chopped green onions down in the bottom of it. That'll just provide a nice separation for the meat in the bottom. Then you just figure a way to hook in and grab your roast. Drop that big piece of meat right down in your slow cooker. If your slow cooker isn't big enough for it, you can always use a tabletop roaster or just put it right in the oven for about four hours. Just to be a little extra. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take that garlic puree and that oil and just put it right on top. And put the lid on your slow cooker and just leave it alone. Don't look at it, don't touch it, just leave it on high four hours. Oh, here we are, it's been about four hours. Let's take a look. Watch that steam, it'll get you. Oh, wow. It's got a little crust. Looks really well done. Let's take a look, hold on, I'm gonna cut it.